Okay, so we're going to try this, hopefully. Um, so we got cut off earlier today while I was trying to live stream our yoga class. So I just wanted to see if I could do sort of the last half of the class for you here. So I'm going to record it and hopefully we can upload it to Facebook and you can watch it if you want. Um, it's kind of more of an experiment too to see we might just start recording I might just start recording my classes and then posting them on Sunday for you instead because I really apologize, but the connection is just not working on Facebook live stream for me. So let's just start. Um, so again, this is coming in probably about 40 minutes or so into our class. Um, so we were already pretty warmed up and we were going to start into um, what I generally consider my sun B or my second section as we kind of advance into our practice. Um, so beginning at the top of your yoga mat and start to balance on your right leg as you pull your left knee up into your chest. And finding your balance. And then when you're ready, grab a hold of the ankle and drop the knee down. And if you can, reach back with your other hand as well. And just finding a really nice stretch through your quadriceps. So the left knee is dropping down. The hips are in line, so make sure that left hip isn't dropping as well. Pull the hips in line. Draw the shoulders back, lift the chest. And then if you wish, come into dancer's pose. So reaching the right arm forward. Or you can always have your hand on your hip as well. And then kicking back. But as you kick back, continue to keep the chest lifted. This is a great opening through the chest. But also a nice stretch for the knee and the quadricep as well. So find your balance. You could always use a chair or a wall as well. And then try to keep your balance as you pull your knee back forward. Hug the knee in. <laughs> and then when you're ready, we're going to come into figure four. So pulling the left ankle just above the right knee. Then the left knee sort of pulls out wide. And then you start to hinge from your hips and bend into your right knee, so getting a really nice deep stretch into that left hip. And you'll see my hands are sort of at heart center, elbows out wide, you can do that. Or you can always just grab a hold of the knee and the foot as well. We'll just take a couple more breaths here. Deep inhale, exhaling it out. And then when you're ready, we're gonna just release that left leg down and cross the left leg across the right leg and come into a fold here. Again, this is a pretty deep stretch into the back of the right leg. Um, it honestly always feels a little awkward to me. Um, it's a very tight area, uh, the back of the knee, sort of around the edge of the knee, um, that we don't often stretch. So just be patient with yourself and be aware if you are feeling anything kind of tweaky or even painful, obviously I want you to pull out of this stretch a little bit, but just go gently. Let's just take one more breath in here. And then when you're ready, we're going to press into that right foot. We're going to swing the left leg around and back and come in to our standing half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. So right hand down, left hand can just start at the hip. Rolling the left hip open, flexing the left toes, and maybe reaching up towards the sky. Let's take one more breath here. And then we're going to release into warrior two. So step that back foot down, finding your warrior two, bending into that right knee. And then let's just take reverse warrior. So sweep the right arm up and over. Nice big stretch. And then lastly, coming into triangle pose. So straighten the front leg, windmill the right hand down, the left arm up. Take another deep breath in here. Keep drawing back on that right hip. Soften as you exhale. Let's take one more breath here. 
And then slowly release, hands down to the mat, lunge pose. Step back to plank, and Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog. Stretch it out. Deep breath in. And exhale out. And lift your heels up nice and high. Bend the knees, look forward. Walk or jump to the top of your yoga mat. And take a fold. And when you're ready, soften the knees. And roll up to standing. All right, so other side. So balancing on the left leg. Just kind of pull that right knee up. Finding our balance. Reaching down for the right ankle, let the knee drop. So you can reach back with both hands and capture the foot. So lifting the chest, drawing the heel in towards your glute, and paying attention to the alignment of the hips and the knees. And then when you're ready, moving into dancer's pose. So kicking into the right foot, extend the left arm forward, and find your balance. Keeping your balance, pull the right knee back forward, coming into figure four pose. Right ankle above the knee, send the hips back. As you bend into the left knee, finding a really nice stretch for the right hip here. Two more breaths. And then when you're ready, release that by sliding the right foot down across the left and taking that fold here into that stretch, the back of the left leg. Again, we're cautious, cautiously folding into the stretch. Please be aware, be gentle with yourself. Take another deep breath in here and exhale it out. And we come into standing half moon, so you're going to press into your left foot, swing that right leg around, and up behind you. Left hand down, right arm high. And really flex that right foot, charge up both legs, drawing the right hip back just slightly. And hold here for another breath. And then warrior two is our next pose. So setting the right foot back down to the ground, settling into your warrior two. Take a big breath in, sit into it as you exhale. Reverse warrior. Stretch it up and back. And triangle pose as you exhale. Holding here for just another breath or two. One more big inhale. And release. Cycle through Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, breathe in. And downward facing dog. Exhale it out. So good. And release. So hopefully you can get through that. I have children calling my name, so I'll have to move on. But I wanted to at least wrap up that little sequence for you. If you can take it from there, maybe just do another seated couple forward folds and a twist, end in a little shavasana just for a few moments for yourself. And hopefully um, you could at least move on with your day. So anyway, I hope this works. I hope you could at least um, maybe take a look at this uh, to finish off your sequence. I hate leaving anybody imbalanced and only doing one half of a sequence on one side. So anyway, I hope you guys are well. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, cheers. Have a great day.